Hi, have you ever tried a dish made of something which we do not usually eat? A lan xiao perhaps, or the dish we dubbed as soup number five? A notorious Filipino bull bull dish. Bull ball dish. What makes soup number five notorious to the general Filipino eating public is that the main ingredient isn't exactly enormous, as your soup number five is actually made up of bull's testicles and penis. So much for that, in this video, we will go over the key components of a male reproductive organ, specifically the bulls, before they can become soup number five. This time, let's go over the general structure and function of the testes. These primary organs have the dual function of producing sperm cells and also the male hormone, testosterone. The testes is enclosed in the tunica albuginea surrounded by another tough tunic, the tunica vaginalis. The seminiferous tubules are the site of sperm formation. These in turn empty into collecting ducts, the reti testes, lined with ovoidal epithelium. The supporting connective tissue joins centrally forming a fibrous cord, the mediastinum testis. The secondary sex organs are the ducts and the tubes, which convey the sperm cells out of the testis and eventually out of the body. They are listed in order in which sperm pass through them. Vas efferentia about 12 ducts arising from the rectal testis, emerging from the testis and emptying into the epididymis. The epididymis is a large, tortuous duct outside the testis through which the sperm migrates slowly. It is divided into the head, body, and tail. The tail portion is the chief site of sperm storage. The vas deferens is a slender tube connecting the epididymis with the urethra and which enlarges into an ampulla just before joining the urethra. This is often called vas deferens when cut during vasectomy. The urethra is the tube in the penis through which semen is discharged at the time of population and through which urine is is the organ of copulation. The accessory sex glands include two seminal vesicles, two bulbo-urethral glands, and one prostrate gland which all contributes fluid to semen. Now, let's have the protective, supporting, and other structures. Firstly, the scrotum, which is the pouch of skin surrounding and protecting the testes. External cremaster and tunica dartus muscles, which regulate the temperature of the testes by moving them closer or farther away from the body wall. The spermatic cord contains blood vessels, nerves, vas deferens, and muscles associated with the testis. It includes the paminiform plexus. 